Hi guys! Today is going to be a no excuse arm workout. Grab a light set of weights anywhere between one to three pounds. If you don't have weights, if you're at the lake like I am or camping or wherever you're at, no worries as long as you have maybe a bottle of water, two preferably, or a can of soup, anything that works between one and three pounds. A bottle of water is a little bit over one pound, so that will do just perfect. We'll do some small micro movements with these water bottles. So even though they're one pound, you should still feel it in the shoulders and arms. So no worries about that. So go ahead and grab what you have, whether, like I said, anything from hand weights to water bottles to soup cans. And we're just going to start with our feet sit bone distance apart, nice and parallel. With those weights or whatever you're holding by your side, roll your shoulders up, back and down. From here, we're just going to open out and back down. We're going to do a two count slowly first. Up for two and down for two. And again, up for two and down for two. Last six and down for two. And being that these weights are lighter, I want you to really feel the pressing down. So feel like you're pressing against quicksand or against something really thick like peanut butter. Feeling your shoulders glide down as you press. Let's do one more. Inhale up for two exhaling down for two let's go forward inhale up for two exhale down for two as you lift your arms up can you glide your shoulder blades down your back inhaling up for two exhaling down for two so just getting started finding our form your feet are sit bone distance apart your pelvis is right over your heels rib cage right over your hips ears over your hips over your heels so line yourself up soften your knees a little bit Right, that keeps you from locking the knees, which takes the muscle, or I should say, takes the work out of the muscle. So never lock any joints. That's including your elbows. Let's do one more. Up for two and down for two. Now we're going back out to the side, open out and hold. From here, soften the elbows just a hair and lower your shoulders down. And we're do little ups, little ups, pulsing up, up. Keep it small. When you lift, make sure that it's actually the arm bone that's lifting and not the shoulder blades. So your shoulder blades stay down from your ears and the whole arm bone, upper arm. So imagine as if those water bottles or weights were right on your upper arm bone and you're just pulsing up little tiny pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold on one. Now from here, you're just going to press back one inch and forward one inch. Press back an inch and forward an inch. Go slow enough so that you don't bounce. I know the weights are light, so it's really easy to bounce on this. But when you press back, you want to be sure that you're not popping the chest out. Your knees are soft. And so I will do it the wrong way. If you press back and pop the chest forward, then really it's your spine moving and not the arm bones. So just press back from those shoulder blades. Think upper arm bones are just sliding across an imaginary tabletop. Let's press back for 10, press back for nine, slow and controlled, eight, shoulders down for seven. Last six, press five, press four, shoulders down three, and two, and one. Lower the arms all the way down, give yourself a big shoulder roll. Those one pound weights will definitely get your shoulders working. Let's bring the arms straight back out ahead of us. Not any higher than the shoulders, just right out shoulder height. Soften the elbows and we're just going to lift up an inch and down an inch. Up an inch and down an inch. And as you're here, again the shoulders glide down, arm bones are lifting. Think of the arms doing the motion, the spine stays still, shoulders glide down the back the entire time. Relaxing the grip on the weights, try not to over grip the weights. And as we're here, even this light set of weight out in front of our bodies sometimes makes us lean back. So I'm going to stand to the side again. When you lift, be sure that you're not leaning back, taking it in the lumbar spine, right? We want to stay nice and tall, stacked right over your hips, right over your heels. So soften your knees, kind of come into a small little bend, a little, just a micro squat. So we stay nice and tall, like we're up against an imaginary wall. We're going to lift up for 10, lift up nine, lift eight. If you're starting to feel it in your shoulders and neck, any kind of tension, set your arms down, give yourself a shoulder roll, and then pick back up again. Let's go for three, lifting two, lifting one and hold, pull the belly in tighter, knit the rib cage, and lower the arms down, give yourself a big shoulder roll. Step, uh, I'm gonna step back to center rather so you can see me from the front. I'm gonna mix those two together. So combo the two. We're gonna go out and down, up and down, out and down, up and down. Rule is simple, right? We're just putting the two together. Try not to swing. Again, the weights are light. 
It's really easy to swing, but I want you to feel as if the arm bones are lifting those weights up. Your body stays nice and still. The torso isn't arching, right? Your back is staying straight. Up and out. Good, and I'm gonna to stand to the side again so that you can see that my upper body is nice and straight, nice and tall. We have five, four, no swinging, three, feel the pressing down. So feel the shoulders glide down like little wings. Do one more each way. And we're gonna to come to the front and hold. Now stay here, little circles, little circles. So you're drawing a circle, maybe the size of a quarter. Keeping your knees soft, keeping your spine tall, keeping your abs pulled in tight. Circling the whole arm bone, right? Not just the shoulders, keep the shoulders nice and still. Just the arms are moving. We have five, soften the elbows, four, three, two, one more time, and let's switch the directions, circling. So the size of the circle is maybe the size of a quarter to a small apple, right? We're keeping it small. And again, if your shoulders are getting sore and you're starting to feel this in your neck, set the arms down, set the weights down. Maybe do this routine without any weights. You'll still feel it in the shoulders. Pull the belly in, let's circle for five, circle for four, circle for three, two, and one. Arms come down, give yourself a big shoulder roll. Let's reach our arms out to the sides again. Reach out even longer. So try to stretch those arms to the sides and circle, little circles. Good, again, the circle is as small as a quarter, maybe to a small apple, nothing bigger. S circling, full circles, not squares. Try to really find that circle. Good, circle for five, circle for four, circle for three, last two. And last one, hold there, we're gonna switch the directions, up, back, and around. Still circling. Can you feel the back muscles? Can you feel the shoulder blades glide down? Circle, pulling the waist in, knitting the ribs, so again, as you're circling, I'm gonna to stand to the side again, make sure that your spine has no movement. So we're not arching the back, right? We're keeping the spine nice and still. Circle for four, circle for three, last two, and one. Arms come all the way down. Give yourself a big shoulder roll, up, back, and down. Very nice. Now from here, we're gonna lift the arms up. We're gonna get into the rotator cuffs, which are really important. So from here, you're at a goal post position, right, 90 degrees. And we're just gonna lift the right arm up, twisting the upper arm bone, and the right arm twist down, left arm. So rotator cuff muscles are very small in your shoulder, right? If you play baseball, play golf, you'll know about your rotator cuff. So these exercises are very small and they're typically done with only one pound weights anyway. Even if you have ever had a rotator cuff injury, you'll know that in physical therapy, you don't use any weight, right? They're small muscles. If you use too much weight, the bigger muscles are gonna take over. Your biceps, your triceps, deltoids, they're gonna take over and your rotator cuff muscles will never get the chance to strengthen. So let's lift the right arm up, twisting the arm bone and down. Left arm up, twisting. And again, just be very careful that your back isn't doing the motion. So I'm gonna do it the wrong way. I don't wanna arch the spine. Okay, so keep the spine nice and still. And think of that upper arm bone just twisting in the shoulder cuff. Your elbows are staying in the same spot in space the entire time. Knit the ribs. Let's do two more each way. To the right, to the left. One more time each arm. Right arm twists, keeping the wrist nice and straight. Left arm twists. And now come down to that goal post position again. We're gonna hold there and just press back. It's just an inch, press back. Feel the back muscles, feel the shoulder blades. Again, we're gonna be very careful that we're not popping the chest in front of us, pressing back just the arm bones are moving. So I'll do it the wrong way again. As I pull back, I don't wanna see any chest popping, right? Keep the chest in, keep the ribs knit. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. I know our shoulders are starting to feel it, so drop those weights off if you need. Last four, three, two, and one. Keep the elbows bent, just bring them down by your sides. Give yourself a big shoulder roll up, back, and down. Lift those elbows back up, we're almost there. Hang with me, you're gonna reach the arms up. So just like we did earlier in that rotator cuff position, right? From here, you're gonna straighten the arms forward at an angle, and then bend them back to that goal post position. Reach a little ahead of your body, right over your eyebrows, and then bend back to that goal post. Do that again, pressing up for 10, and slowly down. We're going on a two count. Press up for nine, 
and slowly down. Press up at an angle overhead for eight and bend those elbows. Shoulders stay down for seven and bend. Find that form, scooping the belly for six. Exhale, press up five. Up for four. Last three. We're almost to the lake, I promise. Last two. At least I am. One more time, press up and bend the elbows. Elbows come down, give yourself a big shoulder roll. Arms come down, give yourself another big shoulder roll. Last set, we're gonna do triceps. I'm gonna stand to the side. Go ahead and bend your knees. This time you're going to hinge forward. Be careful that you're not rounding the spine. You wanna stay nice and straight. Stick that tailbone back behind you. Knit the rib cage, pull the belly in, elbows bent by your sides. Now from here, you're gonna straighten those arms back. Make sure you didn't change your form. Straight arms are gonna press up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. So little ups, keeping the arms nice and straight. Every time that you press the straight arms to the sky, can you knit your rib cage nice and tight? Pull the belly in even tighter to the spine, pressing up. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Feel those weights wrapped around your upper arm bones. You're pressing from the arm bones. Let's lift four, three, two, hold on one. Now stay there. Your straight arms are gonna pull together and open. Pull together and open. So they're going into the midline of your body. Pull in and then back to center. Pull in and back, pull in. So feel the shoulder blades, feel the triceps, keep your arms lifted, pressing for 10, pressing for nine, pressing for eight, last seven and six, last five, press four, three, two, hold on one. Now we're gonna combo that. Here comes my dog, Hank. You're gonna lift up and in, up and in, up and in for 10 and in, up nine and in. Find that form, eight and in, up seven and in, up six and in, up five, up four and in, up three and in. Shoulders down, two and in. Keep the knees soft, one and in. Now hold there, one last set and then we're done. Little circles, tiny little circles. Find that form, bend your knees, nice straight spine. Circling for eight, circle for seven, Circle for six, last five, four, keep breathing, three, and two, and one. Now hold there, circle the other direction, we're so close, circling for 10, circle nine, circle eight. Don't lose your form, we're so close to being done. Last five, press four, pull the belly in three, last two, and one. Relax those arms down, stand up, give yourself a big shoulder roll, you've done it, you're good to go, it was quick. Painless, nice shoulder work. We got the triceps, chest, biceps. We pretty much got everything, even the rotator cuff. So go ahead and repeat this at any time you feel that you just want a quick arm workout in. Again, use anything you have for weights or no weights at all. Thank you so much and have a great day.